Hey mat lovers, welcome back to my channel. For the newcomers, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and click the bell button for more updates of my videos. Our vlog this time, still we're going to have simplified rational algebraic expressions. As I have said in the previous vlog, that for today's vlog, we will be having binomial over another binomial. Let's have our first example on simplifying a rational algebraic expression having a binomial over another binomial. So, of course, this is a rational algebraic expression. As I have said in the previous vlog again, that rational algebraic expressions are expressions which consist of polynomials or are expressions which divides two polynomials. So, we have here binomial over a binomial or binomial divided by a binomial. So our example is x squared minus 25 all over 2x squared plus 10x. So how are we going to simplify this given rational algebraic expression? So simply by applying our previous learnings on factoring. So first we're going to do is to simplify first the numerator. And after that, we're going to simplify also the denominator by factoring. So, in the numerator, we have x squared minus 25. So, recalling our previous topic or previous vlogs, previous learnings, this even, um, this numerator is, or we can simplify this by factoring difference of two terms, right? So, first step that we have is to simplify our first term x squared. So, we have x and x. And for the second step, we're going to simplify our second term, negative 25. So, the factors of negative 25 are positive 5 and negative 5. That is why the factors of this numerator is that are the quantity of uh, x plus 5 times the quantity of x minus 5. So, that is how we simplify our numerator. Now, our denominator is 2x squared plus 10x. So, what factoring technique can we apply for this? So, we can apply factoring by getting the common binomial factor. So, what is common among the two terms? Common for the numbers, numerical coefficient 2 and 10, common is 2. And for the variables x squared and x, what's common is x with the lowest exponent, which is 1. So, we will have 2x as the common binomial factor. To get the other factor, we will, we're will going to divide. So, 2x squared divided by 2x, we have x. And then, 10x divided by 2x, we will have 5. So, this is how we simplify by applying the, by applying factoring. So, after we did the factoring, after we simplify specifically our given numerator and denominator, we can now have dividing out or factoring out. So, leave this one, leave this. Now, focus on this. Uh, try to see if there are common factors. So, we have here the quantity of x plus 5. We can divide that out by the denominator x plus 5. So, what's left, what's left is the quantity of x minus 5. And here we have 2x. Are they common to each other? They're not. So, after that, we're going to pick up the remaining numbers or items. Pick up quantity of x minus 5. You can have it as x minus 5 alone with no parentheses over 2x there. So, this will be now our simplified rational algebraic expression. For second example, our second example here for rational algebraic expression is still having binomial over a binomial. So, that is x squared minus 1 all over 10x minus 10. So, first thing to do is to apply factoring techniques. But before you can do that, of course, identify first if what factoring technique you can apply to get the factors. So, for the numerator, we will have x squared minus 1. Get the factors of x squared minus 1. This is actually difference of two terms. So, to get the factors of the difference of two terms, first factor the, get the factors of the first term. The factors are x and x, positive x and x. And secondly, get the factors of the second term, negative 1. The factors of negative 1 are positive 1 and negative 1. So, the factors of these numerators are the quantity of x plus 1 and the quantity of x minus 1. And after that, get the factors of the denominators So or denominator. So, for this, you can apply factoring by getting the common monomial factors.
The same with the first example that we have. So to get, to get the factors, we're going to consider the terms, get the common monomial factor of the term. Our common monomial factor is 10. So next, get the second factor by division. 10x divided by 10, you will have x. 10, negative 10 divided by 10, you will have negative 1. And thus, you get the factors of both the numerator and the denominator. So after that, we're going to leave this given rational algebraic expression. And then we're going to focus on this one, our simplified form. So after we simplify, we're going to find the factors which can be divided out. So we have here... Okay, we have here the quantity of x minus 1 over quantity of x minus 1 divided out, divided out. And after that, we will pick up the remaining factors. We have here quantity of x plus 1, copy x plus 1. And we have here the quantity of 10, copy 10, without the parenthesis. And that we get the simplified rational algebraic expression. Now let us have our last example for our vlog this time. So... We have here our rational algebraic expression given 2y raised to the 4th power plus 12y cubed all over 4y squared minus 2y cubed. So still binomial divided by a binomial or binomial over a binomial. So first thing to do again is to get the factors of both the numerator and the denominator. Simplify both the numerator and the denominator. So, as I've said, we are going to apply our factoring techniques. So, let us first consider the numerator and identify if what factoring technique we can apply so that we can get the factors of this numerator. So, do you think we can have general trinomial? No. Do you think we can have difference of two squares? No. So, maybe we can have factoring by getting the common monomial factor. Yes, we can do that. So, consider the numerical coefficients 2 and 12. We will have 2 for the common monomial factor. And for the variables y to the fourth and y cube, of course, we're going to consider the variable having the lowest exponent. So that is why we're having here y cube. Or for the common monomial factor, we are going to have 2y cube. Get the rest of the factor or the second factor by division. Divide 2y to the fourth divided by 2y cube. Of course, the answer is y. And then we are going to have 12y cubed divided by 2y cubed, the answer is 6. And thus, we get the factors of this numerator. The factors are the quantity of 2y cubed times the quantity of y plus 6. After we do that, we're going now to consider our denominator, 4y squared, or 4y to the fifth, minus 2y cubed. So, do you think we can apply general trinomial? No. Do you think we can apply difference of two squares? No. So, we're going to apply common monomial factor. Get the common monomial factor between 4 and 2. So, the common is 2. Get the common monomial factor between y to the fifth and y cubed. Of course, we'll have y cubed. So, our common monomial factor is 2y cubed. Get the second factor by division. Divide. So, we're going to have 2y squared minus... One. And that, we are done factoring. So, leave the given, the original rational algebraic expression and consider the simplified one. Try to see if there are common factors that we can divide out. There is. So, we have here 2y cubed. And that, we have the remaining factors. We're going to copy that one on the other side, have an equal sign. We have a quantity of y plus 6 copy without parenthesis. You are going to have y plus 6. All over in the denominator, you're going to have 2y squared minus 1. But before that one, if you're going to consider this, try to make sure that the numerator, both the numerator and the denominator, are not factorable anymore. Okay? And we're going to end up right here. So this will be our simplified rational algebraic expression of this given rational algebraic expression. Okay, but lovers, so we're done with our lesson or the topic or our vlog for this time or for today so i hope that you have learned from those three examples so what are the what are the steps or what are the things that we have to do in order to factor a rational algebraic expression having a binomial over a binomial so of course first apply our factoring techniques and then divide out and after we divide out, we're going to pick up the remaining factors and that will be our 
simplified rational algebraic expression. So always we consider the previous learnings that we have and apply those on the uh, present learnings that we're going to learn and tackle. So math lovers, keep on learning, keep on watching, and be math lovers. And don't forget to scan your books and research and research and try to answer plenty of examples from the books. Apply what you have learned from this video and God bless.